Hello everyone out there in YouTube land and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another candle review to share with you. I am going to be reviewing uh, Bath and Body Works Seaside Mimosa. What just happened to my voice? I sound like, I sound like, uh, what's his name from the Brady Bunch? Remember when his voice changes? When it's time to change, it, it's time to change. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what just happened there. Was that Bobby or Greg? It was Bobby. It was Bobby on the Brady Bunch whose voice changed in the episode. Okay, anyway, back to the candle review. So I'm going to be reviewing Bath and Body Works Seaside Mimosa. Now, why did I buy this candle? Well, I was lured in by the packaging. It's got the iCat print on it and the simple anger with the um, very elegant, just simple font. And it's just kind of nautical looking, pretty. Um, it has the... The lid is the the compass, the compass star or stone, whatever. What is that called? Compass rose? Is that what it is? Yeah. So it has the same lid as the Seaside Escapes, except the Seaside Escapes is silver and this is gold. Um, this came out in a collection with two other scents, which are Beach Breeze and Sun Kissed Days. Um, they did not have those candles in my Bath and Body Works so I didn't get a chance to smell them or purchase them. I smelled the body care. I wasn't blown away by it. If they had those two candles there, would I have picked a different one? Possibly, but I might have still gone with this one because I like the hot pink color and I think it's just a cute name, Seaside Mimosa. Although I've never drank a mimosa so I have no idea what it tastes like or smells like or whatever, but I do know what this smells like. This smells like pink grapefruit. Now I know that Bath and Body Works has body, not, not body care, soap called pink grapefruit. Um, I didn't smell that, but this smells like a pink grapefruit. I, I don't know if it, that scent was repackaged in a candle as this. I can't say. Uh, let me start off with the description. Ah, can I speak? Let me start off with the description. The description says, Wake up to glorious sunlight sparkling on the ocean and celebrate the new day with a mimosa. If you're starting your new day with an alcoholic beverage, perhaps it's not a glorious day. If you need, if you need a drink to get up. Okay, celebrate the new day with a mimosa. Pink champagne, sweet mandarin oranges, and peach nectar. Now, the body care... It, I don't understand how the candle has those notes and the body care has different notes and the soap has yet different notes. So this, let's get rid of the flowery language and see what it's supposed to be. So champagne, oranges, peaches. I don't smell any champagne. Oranges, I guess that could be the citrus note that I'm smelling, but it really smells like grapefruit to me. Peaches, I don't smell at all. Now. In contrast, the body care says uh, peaches, coral, honeysuckle, and soft musks. That doesn't really smell like this either. The soap, which I can't bring up online because I guess it's sold out. The soap said grapefruit in it. So um, that's more accurate to me, to this candle. So let's get into the burn and the centro and all kinds of stuff. Now, I'm not nuts about the scent of grapefruit to begin with. Like I said, I was lured in by the packaging and I really wanted to review this candle because it was kind of like a standalone from the collection because the other two either didn't make it past test or they were in White Barn and I couldn't get them. So I really wanted to review this candle, bottom line. So I overlooked the fact that I'm not nuts about grapefruit. So I burn the candle. Santhro is really weak. It's um, It starts off as like a three and then steadily decreases in scent in scent throw it gets worse as it goes on not better the other thing about it is as it as it uh, goes through its life and is at this point now it's starting to lose its scent completely and it's smelling burnt it just smells like burnt so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through the, the rest of it I'm gonna try but I'll see if it if it re revives itself, but I doubt it. So I was really disappointed, really, really disappointed. Centro, horrible performance. Smells burnt, but clean burn. Um, still some residue. 
color of the wax nice it's like a, a red color um, I can't remember what it was before was it pink before because the wax sometimes it changes from the first time that you light it till when you get to this bottom part um, all around an attractive candle but just not not worth it it's not worth it so I give this candle a thumbs down I didn't like it I wouldn't recommend it to others you know I mean if you just wanted to sit on your shelf on a pedestal as decoration okay um, you can still get this online I believe it's still available but uh, like I said uh, other than ornamental purposes I don't see what what purpose this candle has just it's a nice decoration okay so I hope you enjoyed this review I hope it was helpful to you in your candle shopping and um, 